What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awaken. Just another quick bit of advice as when you're jumping into Rift Mode, uh, specifically if you were already a Massacre Survival Grinder before, you're going to find quite a few maps that you can do without any fusion gear. So you're going to be able to do most of Act 1. Uh, Deeper Well is, a, is Deeper Well. But uh, Ancient Mines won't be a problem, Lava Mines won't be a problem, Alk Labs won't be a problem, uh, Magus Quarters won't be a problem. You're going to be able to do Endless Spires. Uh, you most likely are going to be able to do Throne Room because currently the boss is bugged and is not coming all the way down the lane. Now obviously afterwards they're going to fix that. Uh, additionally, you are going to be able to do Royal Gardens and Glitter Helm. Now, just using the same old builds, nothing fancy, all the stuff on the planner still works. You're just going to have to pay a little bit more attention. But what's the very first thing everyone should do? The very first thing everyone should do is go and get themselves a Rift or a Fusion Weapon. Uh, fusion Weapons are big time. Remember, they are double damage, so you're going to just be putting out some Beast Mode numbers once you get the fusion weapons. Now, Alchemical Labs and the Huntress particularly, as the Huntress is really, really shining in this particular update, uh, having the ability to do Alchemical Labs right out of the gates, it's sending everyone to Alk Labs, understandably. Now, I am here to tell you, stop it! Stop what you're doing! Quit farming the Demon Lord, because... There's no difference between Rift Mode and non-Rift Mode as far as the weapon tiers. The weapons from Summit are just plain gonna give you more numbers. Now, obviously, some people like the Demon Horn shot uh, versus the old Spitfire shot, and that's fair, that's a personal preference thing. But as far as raw DPS goes, put your Alk Labs, Rift Mode Survival away, and get back into the Summit campaign for God's sakes. Uh, a little comparison here for you, which is a touch on the extreme side. I've got a relatively decent uh, Chimera shot, uh, which is the new Alchemical Labs Demon Horn weapon. I've got it fully upgraded properly. Um, one of the other big benefits to the Huntress, this is completely sidetracked, I do apologize y'all, but another big benefit to playing the Huntress is you can, you can put fusion gas traps on. Uh, this means you're going to have gas traps that no enemy, no element is immune to as it is switching these over to the fusion element. So poison immu immune mobs are no longer a problem if you have some fusing gas traps. So that's a pretty darn big reason to use the Huntress. Now, getting back to the actual damage here. I've got this Chimera Shot, so let's take a look at the Chimera Shot on the Rift Dummy. Now remember, it's all about the Rifted Mobs, so we're going to be able to put out a nice bit of damage here on the Rifted Dummy. Um, what, 7, a little over 7 mil DPS? Now remember, this is in Massacre Mode and on the Rifted Dummy, uh, where we used to see enormous numbers. Remember, that was when your tavern was set to a lower difficulty. So without a problem with the Alk, Lab, the Alk Labs Demon Lord weapon, you're gonna be able to put out really nice damage on your Huntress. Now here's the big reason why you just shouldn't even bother farming Alk Labs unless you need those armor pieces. The real reason to farm Alk Labs would be to get the fusion armor sets that you need if you're looking for one of those pieces that drops. So let's take a, not only a campaign fusion weapon, but a not spectacular campaign fusion weapon. Now this is doing two things for you. First off, you're going to be upgrading the element, the fusion element, instead of the range damage. Uh, this means you no longer need the attack stat on your gear. So you can go through and put together a fusion set of armor to do gas traps much more easily, as there's one less stat that you need to look at. So for the ideal um, armor set with this particular weapon to be able to use gas traps as well, you're going to want Vitality, Boost, Fortify, and Range. Now that's just the basics, obviously. 
the more extra stats you can get in the mix, the better. But those are for what I personally would consider required stats. But with this weapon, the Dragoon, you no longer need to have attack value. Now, let's take a look at it. Now, once again, comparing the two, this is comparing a Survival Rift Mode 317 upgrade Chimera Shot to a kind of a crappy 207 upgrade weapon from the Summit Campaign. So if we look back again at the damage output numbers, we are doing, what was it? Let's see, we're at just over, just say seven and a half million DPS, just for ease of uh, math here. We go ahead and pop this lower quality version one on. Let's let the dummy get reset here. And you will see just ripping it out. So this is gonna give us more damage with an easier to acquire weapon that's super duper quick to farm. And then you're also gonna get fusion pieces as well, but it's gonna be the randomized fusion pieces and gonna be at lower quality. Now you might be able to put together a set based off of this, but as far as damage output of the weapon, quit farming Demon Lord, y'all. Get on over to Summit Campaign if you're just getting started. Now, obviously, ideally, you want to get something a little bit better from Summit Survival. It's the exact same route that we took prior to Rick Mode being here. So, taking a look at a kind of a crappy roll on a Rift uh, Summit Survival Dragon. So, best DPS out there, as far as I can tell so far, the Huntress is going to shine and you're going to get some ridiculous gas traps out of the mix too by using a Huntress as your DPS. Now the same basic principle is going to apply to every single class. So if you're wanting to use the EV, a summit campaign weapon is going to be greater than what you already have. If you're using the Squire, a 200 upgrade campaign rifted a uh, sword from Throne Room is going to be better than a 300 upgrade non-rifted survival sword. Uh, if you want the Apprentice, a 200 upgrade staff for the Apprentice from Summit in Campaign is going to be better than a 300 upgrade staff from Summit Survival non-rifted. And then we've got a little example of the Monk here, which is once again exactly the same uh, process. So this is my pole arm from Summit uh, non-rifted survival. And let's take a look at the damage output of this bad boy. It's uh, right around what it's doing, 3.6, 3.5 million DPS against uh, the rifted massacre dummy. Uh, if we go ahead and swap that weapon out for, um, that's my good one I just got. Let's uh, swap it out for a lower quality one. That's the 314. Let's try this guy, a 217. This was the one I got from campaign. So if we look back at it, my 314 was doing what, three and a half mil? Uh, it spiked up a little that time. Looks like it's going to average out right at about three and a half million, maybe even 3.7. Nope, it's still dropping. If we take a look at a campaign rifted version of that same weapon, uh, let's let the dummy reset here, and we're going to see that we're going to be able to now dish out substantially more damage using a lower quality weapon. So it's all about getting the right weapon from the easiest place to acquire it, to start your journey into Rift Mode. So hopefully this helps put point some people in the right directions. I'm getting lots and lots of questions about it. Lots of folks are headed over to Alk Labs and the place you really should be is first thing, before you do anything else, go to Summit Campaign, get you a weapon, and then start thinking about your Rifted Armor sets. So that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. I will be back soon with a whole lot more Dungeon Defenders Awaken, including a Let's Play series starting from the very beginning, going through Rift Mode only. So thanks again, y'all. I will see you next time around. Take it easy.